Hello guys, this is the fourth part of Borderlands. Fork here, doing my Borderlands thing. And, um, where we left off was me searching around and grabbing some stuff. You know, any, some extras that were, that, uh, were there after I killed Nine Toes. So, don't miss out on the stuff. It's just, it's really good. Like, there's two, there's two chests of really good stuff, like, weapons and not just random stuff and yeah like that red one and then you'll see me go up here and there will be this gray one that you open things turn opens up yada yada got some weapons in there and what i found out today just by playing is that if you save clap traps just around the world they give you three extra um bag spaces per clap trap and I did not know that beforehand, but I do now. And I've saved two clap traps so far, but I'm about to get in a new haven. Cause with my soldier, but not the one, not the one that I'm doing the walkthroughs with. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to go through the game before I necessarily finish the walkthrough. I definitely do have to record some more, maybe Monday, maybe tomorrow, and then uh, I'll try to get a part up by Wednesday. That's my goal. So, um, you just killed Nine Toes, and you have to walk out here, and, um, just basically you're going back. She basically tells you, like, that you do have plenty of hard challenges in front of you, and that some people are going to try to throw you off from the vault. But one time I thought it was funny, because I went online to play, uh, to play online. Well, obviously, that's why you go online. That's the only way you can go online. And then, um, she's like, she's like, I've got something important to tell you, so listen up. And then the sound cut off on my screen. It just cut off. And, like, I couldn't hear anything she was saying, but I still saw her there. And I laughed at the irony. It was very, very funny. And so, basically, you have to go back to TK and turn this in. Because Nine Toes is now dead. One little blip off the radar of the whole scheme of things that is Borderlands. Um, I just recently, like, I downloaded the DLC, but I have no characters that are even close to level 50. Like, my highest character is level 25, and I'm not even working on that character right now. But my other soldier is level 23, and that's the character I'm working on. But today, my. I've been playing like literally all day because I because no one could hang out at all. So like my PS3 overheated and now I'm like sitting here waiting for it to cool down because I'm like obsessed with this game. It's just so good. Just because like before I was a little bit bored of it just because I kept having to do the quests over and over again. And that made me very upset and angry. And I was very upset and angry. Well being upset and angry with my upset angriness. So, um, but yeah, but now, I'm, but now that I'm out of, um, I'm out of the beginning quest and I'm getting into some more stuff that I've never seen before, it's just such a good game. Like, holy crap, monkey cheese, is it a good game. And that little claptrap is, like, here's, here's my, um, here's my opinion on claptraps. They, like, when they're all dying and stuff... You just want to help them out. You just want to, like, you don't want them to suffer anymore. You just want to help them out. And, you know, they're just so, you feel so bad for them. But then they get up, and they won't shut up. They just keep, look at me. Look at me, I'm dancing. It's like, I see that. And I saw that five minutes ago, and I'll see that ten minutes from now. You don't have to tell me. I see that there's a robot dancing around. That's not something you see every day. So, yes, that's something I will be looking at. You know? <laughs> Just, ugh. And then, like, even if you sit at the beginning screen, there's a little clap job there that will not stop talking. I've really, I've looked up a lot on the DLC, and it looks so amazing. The reason, like, okay, my, uh, my soldier, the one that was, the one I'm working on throughout the story first, it was level 13. And I went online and, like, decided to join this level 50s game, I came out of that game almost level 20, like I was 19 and a half, it was magical, 
and there was just so much cool stuff, but I was in so much I was in so much danger of dying. It's not even funny. Like seriously. Because there was just so many things and there was people and there were people who would dispense turrets and there were like crimson things and I did not know what was going on. And I was very upset. Actually I wasn't upset at all. It was very awesome. And then the guy was cool because he would drop like, whenever he had just weapons, whenever he looked and, like, noticed that I was there, because the only time he ever really should have noticed that I was there was when I went up and from behind and, like, healed him because when I was behind something because, like, two shots in my face and I was dead. So when he did notice that we were not only by a vendor but that I was there, he would, like, turn around and just drop a bunch, at, like, five, it's like five to eight weapons that he just had sort of laying around, which all sell for, like, tens of thousands of do money, dollars, that a, char that a low character would not have. So that's just, that's awesome. It was, like, it was really cool of him, and I got a lot of money out of it. But then I ended up buying the really good upgrades for ammo for the guns. So now my combat rifle holds, like, a thousand... 120, and my revolver holds, like, 100, and, like, my revolver holds, like, 180, I think, and then my sniper holds 120, which, if you really think about how they are, like, when you first start out, that's actually a lot of extra ammo for how things usually are, and I have to go back to TK Baja, because he has some work for me. And, like, I've realized that I used to be, like, really, I used to really just think about, like, TK Baja and what I had to do for him all the time just because I had to do, because I was constantly in the first quests and I had to, like, just do stuff for him. But now it's just more like Scooter, just because Scooter, Scooter's everywhere. Like, every place you go to, you're talking to Scooter and you're with Scooter and you do things for Scooter. And shit, a lot and lot of scooter. So yeah, and then um, yeah, I've realized that that sort of TK is just like a smaller character for me now, just because. No, I'm not gonna say that's a little bit of spoiler alert. You'll see it later, but just mostly because I just haven't done things for him in a while. Which like this whole thing of just Borderlands in general just wants me to. I just want to bring this up, is that. You know, if you guys, if you guys are on PS3, you got Borderlands, you know, go ahead and add me, you know, just cause like, send me friend request, because I have nobody, nobody, nobody that I know plays Borderlands. Like, I don't have any friends on the friends list that have this game. Friend list, list of, I don't know what that was. But uh, if you guys want, you're looking for some uh, Borderlands, go ahead and add me. This video is coming to end within the next 20 seconds, so I'm going to start wrapping it up now just so I don't go over. And um, so uh, rate, comment, subscribe um, in that order, hopefully. And um, <laughs> just uh, please get around to rating whatever you guys think it deserves. You know what I'm going to have to, just whatever you guys want it, wait until it's good. I got to go. See you, YouTube. Keep on gaming.